When Debbie and I started working on revision decisions, it wasn't called revision decisions. No. We were thinking about sentence combining, and I had tried to work on a project on my own at one point, and I got frustrated with it, and I knew Debbie was writing about writing next, and, and that's one of the recommendations for writing next, the writing next research report, because this is that sentence combining is important. And we started talking about it together, and our ideas started coming together, and we were like, well, we want this to be about play, and we talked about sentence play, and then we were building it all around play, and then we drafted some of it, and then we decided, oh, not quite there, because we were really, well, you know, talk about what you think. Well, it was about play, a lot about play when we started, and we drafted a bunch of it, and then one time when we were working together, Jeff said, I think we need to change the framework, and I thought, no! <laughs> A revision no, decision. We had to make revisions. <laughs> and, um, and so he convinced me that it was the right thing to do, and it was. One of the things we thought about is that we started in one place, we ended up in another place, but we ended up in that place because of working on it together. So the collaboration yeah. was an important part of ending up where we ended up, which, at least from my perspective, is a better place than it would have been if I'd done the project no, by absolutely. myself. Absolutely, and in fact, but the, what's really cool about the collaboration is it echoes what we're trying to say in the book. Yes. Because what we're trying to say is it's, it's, it's built on talk. It's built on talking, talking through sentences and beyond because that's the beauty of sentence combining and the research would point to that's one of the reasons it works because kids are very committed to their first words sometimes. And if we have the tentativeness of being able to talk it through a couple of times and me hear your idea, and Debbie has a brilliant idea too, once they've done a combination that you force them to do two after a while, because then that pushes you one next level. Because you know that whole uh, idea that the person who makes one more call is the person who's more successful. What's that idea? I love this, Debbie brought this to it, just one more sentence is the sentence that makes you successful because you always like lean yeah, on the structure you, and yeah, this the makes first you to one, The first else. one you go to is the one that's f comfortable for you. And so in revision decisions, we're always saying, no, do two. You have to do at least two because then that second one pushes you into the risk taking, which is also a big part of the book is teaching students that they need to take risks with their writing and that Experiment. it's okay and, and to try out new ways and then to think about, well, with this new way, what's the effect of that? And that's an important part of it too. So, so that's it's reflective a, so and generative So having talk, multiple yeah. tries is an important part because that pushes them to the risk taking, so yeah. And, and the reason we, we, we really talked a lot about this about, well, first we wanted to call it sentence play and then there were some issues with that. But, but, but then we started thinking about this idea of we didn't want it to be sentence combining. It was combining conversations at one point. Yeah, conversations. Because there's this feeling with sentence combining that even though it's successful, it was recommended in the 60s, it's recommended now, that there's this kind of resistance to it or people have an association with it. And so we wanted to break that association a little bit. But also we were discovering as we were doing it, but wait a minute, this is the these are the decisions you make as a reviser. Yes. This is what writers do. And so making it a little more concrete maybe scaffolding it for both the students and the teachers and designing that into it. That's, that's kind of that structure we were looking at because yes. we, we wanted it to work. And seeing, and again, I think seeing the resistance we felt um, when you say sentence combining, oh. there is a resistance. People, we've been there, we've tried that. Um, but also once we started playing around with it, seeing that expansion into the kinds of decisions that writers make, not just at the sentence level, but also in the whole piece at the whole piece level about deleting and rearranging and adding. Those are the same kinds of decisions. And, and so we saw that, that piece that had never really been in the sentence combining movement as far as we could see, that it had always just been about the sentence. And now it's about the sentence, but it's about more than the sentence. And beyond. Yeah, it's about the kinds of decisions rather than about the sentence. One of the things that we get asked a lot about is, is about testing. Yes. How does this help with testing? Well, it's really interesting if you look on a lot of tests, one of the things they'll say, how would you combine these two sentences? Or how would you revise these two sentences? What they really mean is how would you combine them into one? So it actually builds a test prep within it. It's a, it's mm -hmm. a, it's a best practice that's research-based, but at the same time, you also are preparing them for the test because you're giving them that flexibility of thought yes. that you need in that risk-taking that Debbie was talking about. You, you're getting all that there. It's a, it's a synthetic. It's a synthesis activity. I mean, anything we do with writing is really higher order, but I think all it the is. evaluative talk yes. and all the trying and experimenting is that way. Yes, and, it, and so it gets students to start think, to think about what do writers do, what um, effects um, result from the decisions that they make. That's an important piece. People, teachers also ask us about the test for correctness. Um, so about commas, well, what about getting them ready with this? All of that, 
folds into the talk. When you combine two sentences or three sentences or four in, any, in a number of ways, you have to start thinking about um, what kinds of punctuation would be effective in those sentences, in that combination. And so just as part of the talk and the work of the playfulness of, of the revision decisions, they're also getting the work that they need to prepare for more formal writing and for tests. And so that's a piece that comes kind of embedded in the same way that the, uh, that the piece Jeff was just talking about. And both of us also knew and, and thought about the idea that kids often don't revise because they don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. They don't have any idea of the actions to take. So we worked really hard to make that very concrete and put lessons and scaffold those lessons within it. So we have our draft mnemonic. I mean, mnemonics, you know, you, they're important as a starting point, but when we know that it's, 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 to, it's to delete, it's to rearrange, mm -hmm. it's to add yeah. connector uh -huh. words, it's to form new verb endings, it's to talk it out. That gives them a concrete way to go, and we teach them how to do each one of those aspects. And then we give them lots of chances to practice. Yeah. <laughs>